Hello and welcome everyone to tonight's presentation of UGA Ice Dogs Hockey. I'm Torin Smith, with me as always Joe Kopshow and Ren Grimsley, and we are so excited to bring you this one live between the UGA Ice Dogs and the USC Gamecocks live from the ice in Cumming, Georgia. These two teams have a history as they played a couple times last year, both, team, or both games getting pretty chippy, but both, uh, both of those going in favor of the Gamecocks. The last of those two games was an overtime thriller in which the Cox won in the outdoor game at the Classic Center Pavilion in Athens, Georgia. Well, Torn, it's going to be an exciting one. Like you mentioned, the two games last year was a three-goal difference in between them. Of course, the Cox coming out on top with a combined score of 7-4. to four. Interesting new teams here. Players have graduated. Players have moved on. We'll go through the starting lineups for the Cox. It's going to be Jake Pushkar lining that center spot. Around him is going to be Thomas Loken, Nick Kay, and then the defensive side, it's going to be Ronan Mulcairn and Ben Riccatelli. For the Dogs, it's going to be the second line starting tonight. Declan Conway heading it up in the middle. He'll be in the face-off circle with James Hedquist and Evan Parente on the side lined up in the back. It's going to be Ryan Testino's help, Jack Gannon and Luke Burnett. And of course, Torin, the man in the net for the Cox is going to be Zach Hayes. He had an excellent season last year. He could pretty much be a match for Testino. They were neck and neck in those goals against and save percentage. So it should be a good defensive one tonight, but these teams can also get after it, Torin. So we will step aside for a minute as we do the national anthem. So as we get set for the opening faceoff, we'll take a look at the starting lineup again. It's going to be for the Cox, Pushkar at center with Locken and Kay on the wings and Mulcairn and Richitelli on the back end. Zach Hayes in goal. He gave this Georgia team some trouble last year when they faced him in the outdoor game, so look for him to be a big factor in tonight's game. For Georgia, it's Hedquist and Parente on the wings with De Declan Conway up front. And on the back end, it's Jack Gannon and Luke Burnett. And, of course, the big man in goal, Ryan Testino. It's a packed house here tonight at the ice in Cumming, Georgia. Lots of red here in the crowd for the Georgia side. Yeah, Cox didn't travel as well as we thought they would, but still packed in the chat as we can see. Expecting a good game on the ice here and on this live stream. So centers will glide in and we'll get this started, Zorn. Thank you all for tuning in from home as we get set for the opening faceoff. Centers glide into position. Conway and Pushkar. Face off won by the Dogs. We are go here from coming Georgia. Jack Gannon with it for the Dogs, trying to take it up through center ice. Cox setting the tone early with a hit there from Nick Kay. Puck goes back down into the South Carolina zone. Richitelli fires it off the boards. He's got Kay. 
But right there was Declan Conway for Georgia, trying to get it back in deep. Intercepted by the Gamecocks, but it's taken back the other way. Kay with a nice toe drag, steps around Parente, but Gannon on the back check, able to lift the stick that time. This one's chipped off the glass, but not out. Here comes Burnett for the dogs. Passes it up to Conway down the right wing side. Conway trying to step around the defender, and he does. Conway centering pass. He's got Gannon. Shot. Rebound loose in front. Parente fires at the goal. Hayes diving for it. Parente's backhand goes over the net. Second chance shot just goes behind the goal. Strauss takes a check there on the blue line. Georgia with some good pressure here early. Digging for it behind the goal is Hedquist. He had his first career goal against Clemson last week. That shot finds the glove, and that's going to be a little extra after the whistle there. Locking with a hard cross check on Conway. We'll see if any penalties come out of this one. Looks like they will. Yeah, they're already signaling. Referee Brian Cole signaling. It looks like maybe both sides. Yeah. What a great opportunity for the Ice Dogs to start running right in front. Great pass from, I believe, Conway to Gannon. Gannon let one loose, and Zach Hayes always a good backstop, but that one bounced out in front was dangerous, and when he finally gets it covered up on the next opportunity, a little scrum breaks out. We've got a great referee crew here tonight. Torn, what can you tell us about that? It looks like the so dogs it's gonna are going to be locking able... headed to the box for South Carolina. Two minutes for cross-checking. Georgia goes on the power play. Not even a minute gone through this first period, so we'll see if the Georgia Bulldogs can build an early lead in this one. The Dogs weren't great on the power play versus Clemson their first game of the season. One for six did, of course, have that one goal. First power play lineup out there for Georgia, Donato, Mazaros, and Punzenberger with Burnett and Hagen up top. The Cox win the draw, though, trying to dig for it. There's a big hit. We got a penalty coming up here on Georgia, though. I didn't see who that was from Georgia. I think it might have been Mazaros. And that's exactly what referee Brian Cole is signaling. So Mazaros heads to the box. It's four on four with only a minute and nine seconds off the clock. Yeah, four on four. And it's obvious that these teams want to set the tone. Mazaros had a couple penalties versus Clemson, also a couple goals. So he's been known now since he's got that A on his jersey to kind of set the tone. He does it here early. Locking kind of got to the dogs. The dogs bite right back. And now it'll be four on four. You know, Torin, I love four on four. Cox will have 13 seconds in over the advantage, but the offense gets easier, the defense gets harder. Face off one by the game, Cox. DeTicho with a shot. Couldn't get it on net, though. Flaherty with it. Poole there to battle for it with him for Georgia. And the dogs will take it back the other way. Here's Alex Strauss, fresh off a suspension that he served last week. He racked that one up in Nationals last season, so he's happy to be back on the ice for the first time this season. Pass across for Donato. Cross ice looking for Punzenberger. They got a stick on it that time. Flaherty able to tip that one, and it's out of play. Yeah, it's interesting here, Torin, because the Dogs played great against Clemson. You'll never complain about a 3-1 victory. However, this game just has a different aura already. These teams are firing out of the gates. Dogs were a little more controlled coming out against Clemson. Now it's just power on power, speed on speed. Yeah, one thing we didn't see a lot of from Georgia against Clemson last week was physicality, trying to move the puck and get some speed. So look to see if Georgia tries to set the tone early against this more physical Gamecocks team. Here comes USC up the wing, trying to punch it in deep, but Poole able to keep it out. DeChico with it. Couldn't get it in deep, though, as Poole sends it right back up ice. Here's Strauss inside the zone for Georgia to his partner. Chipped up ice, good stick though that time from Pineda. Here's a chance for the Gamecocks. Flaherty with it, nice move walking in, his shot just goes high. He had the, had the goalie beat that time. Flaherty with another nice move, he's tripped up, no call on the play, South Carolina wanted one. As this one's clear the length of the ice, they wave off icing. Must have been touched by Georgia, 50 seconds left on the penalty to Mazaros. Sorry, on the penalty to the Gamecocks. That shot just goes off the post as Martin curls it back in behind the goal. Hogan with it, miscue there, almost taken away at the side of the net by Smojice. Here's Bill Martin, cross ice, looking for Eberly, but the pass is in behind him. Pineda fires it right back in deep. Here's Zach List with it, makes a move through center, takes a check though, couldn't get it in deep. Gets it right back. Smojice trying to get it in. Everly turns it around, fires it. The Cox on the power play for 13 seconds here as the penalty to Mazaros is expired. So we will be back to five on five hockey now. 
Down in the corner, battling for it. There's a check down there to the left of Testino. Martin with control. He'll look up ice, curls it back instead to his partner, Hagen. Looking up the boards. That one's fired in, not on goal, though. Cox trying to set something up. Here's a turnover in the slot. That shot goes off the skate of Martin. Good chance there in front for Wilkins. Pushkar with it. Plays it back for List. Parente in on the forecheck. Here's a chance for the Dogs. Hedquist breaking to the net. Parente fires on his stick, but he couldn't get the tape of Hedquist on the back door. Hayes out to play it. Up the boards. Scove with it. Curls it back away from danger. Back across to List. Fired across ice. Gannon gloves it down, though. Waits for Conway to touch up. And he'll dump that one in. Gamecocks with control once again. Reed with it. Trying to get it on the breakout, but the dog's in on the forecheck. Here's Hedquist, the rookie for Georgia. Parente gets control. Across to Burnett, who blows a tire right in front of the Gamecocks bench, and he'll hear it from the South Carolina players. Here's a nice pass for Lockin. Able to get that one in deep. Maybe a little bit of a dive there. Trying to sell that one right in front of the referee. No call there. Here's Gannon with it. Fires it up ice, but it misses the tape. This one should be icing, and it will be. And Torin, we've already seen plenty of players lose skates. We had some inside information that the ice is not great tonight. So that can easily explain why. That led to the Cox first scoring opportunity in which Poole lost his skate right in front of Testino. It also led to one off the pole. So good opportunities for USC there. And then it looked like the Dogs might have a breakout, but another lost skate. So interesting play here with the quality of the ice. Face off to the right of Testino is won by the Dogs. But unable to get it out was Gannon. Puck comes right back to him. And he'll sky this one out to center. He'll let Gutman skate on to it. Burnett fires that one in deep. Mulcairn couldn't stop it. On it first is Robbie Whitworth, the Ice Dogs captain. This one's cleared out of the zone, though, by South Carolina. Gannon with it inside his own blue line. He'll fire it across the ice looking for Strauss. Pushkar gets it back, though, for the Gamecocks. Mulcairn across to Ricciatelli. And he'll wheel this one up ice. On him hard is Bardo. Gets the puck right back for Georgia. DDD pass. Georgia in the midst of a change. Both teams changing. This one's tipped. They say it was over center ice, so this one will go down. No icing. Mulcairn there. Hard on him is Mazaros. But the Cox able to break it out. There's an ugly hit there as a couple of knees collided at center ice. What a move from Donato. Will Donato trying to get something going here for Georgia. Mulcairn across center ice for the Gamecocks, though. He'll fire this one in deep. Leighton Poole in there, loses the battle to Reed. Cox digging for it in the corner. Santoro in there, fourth line out for the Gamecocks. Strauss with it, fires it up the boards for Donato. And he'll go off the glass and out. This one might just go for icing, and it does. Oh, Mazaros was there. That's rough. Mazzaro thought he beat that out for sure, and I think the Georgia fans will agree. So that'll come all the way back into Georgia's defensive zone. It looks like the rest of the refs agree, and that will be placed to the left of Testino. What I've seen so far, Torin, is something we didn't see last week. Against Clemson, we saw UGA's defense in their own zone be so great. It's been a little lackluster tonight, but on the other end, the forecheck has been excellent. South Carolina not getting too much sustained pressure, and even some defensive zone turnovers for them. Both teams not able to build a whole lot of sustained pressure. Georgia with a couple of chances, though, in the early parts of this game before the penalties were taken. So Poole looking to get something set up. Up ice. Here goes Punzenberger down the right wing. Steps around the check, just barely avoids the big hit from John Riggins. Here's Mazaros with it, couldn't put it between the legs as this one will leave the zone. Punzenberger takes a check into the South Carolina bench. Able to glove it down was Donato, but it's turned over in the low slot. Shot saved by Testino. Rebound bounces into the corner. Looking for the centering pass. It just goes wide. They score! Loose puck in front. And the Cox put it home. It's... That will be John Riggins, number 25. At the side of the goal, loose puck. Not really sure how that one went in. I'm not sure Testino knows either. Yeah, Testino just lost it. It was bouncing around in front. And unfortunately for him, I saw it just drift in that five hole, bounced around, and just 
ended up in the back of the net. Not too much you can do with that if you don't see it. He made an excellent first stop, and then it comes off the back of the backboard and goes right in the net. So it's one nothing Gamecocks with just about seven minutes gone here in the first period. Not many shots on goal for them, but they will take it any way it comes. Here's Carson Scove up to the point. Flaherty with it. Takes a shot. Easily sticked aside by Testino. Georgia trying to break it out from the defensive zone. Kept in at the point, though, by DeChico. And this one will be skied out by Stewart. Here's Adler on the rush. Couldn't get around Flaherty, and that puck goes up into the bench. We'll get a whistle and a faceoff at center ice. Yeah, unfortunately for the Ice Dogs, that's kind of what hurt them last season is when they don't give Testino or their goalie a fighting chance. Testino, much like Zach Hayes, he's going to make that first save almost every time. You need the defense to be there to not allow in those slot passes. That one finds its way right in front of the net, and unfortunately for Testino and the Ice Dogs, it just trickles right behind him. So we saw good defense last week by the Ice Dogs stopping those slot passes, Torin. Hopefully that's got to improve for them if they want to stay in this game and not a comeback. Absolutely. Slot defense will be very important for Georgia as the Gamecocks take it right back the other way on a turnover from Martin. Here's Scove, turns it around, passes it back. Here's a shot from the high slot, saved by Testino, rebound cleared. Tommy Marvin back to List. Gamecocks curling back inside their own zone. Scove trying to get it out the center, but it's punched right back in by Martin. Here's Marvin, up ice. The Cox in stride. Here goes Pushkar, trying to step around Martin, and he does, shot just goes wide. Somehow got a stick on that one. I think it was a skate. Here's a chance for Hedquist. Trying to step around the last defender. Plays it back for Conway. Fans on the shot, looking for the backdoor pass was Parente. Conway couldn't move it over. Here's a shot from Gannon, but it goes off a stick and out of play. That has got to be rough as that one was a pretty good opportunity for the Ice Dogs. So they'll have some sustained offensive zone time. Again, mentioning last week against Clemson, these dogs were good on their offensive zone draws. A bit of a harder matchup against Pushkar today. We'll see what Conway can do. So the faceoff to the left of Hayes, Conway and Pushkar. Georgia with another great chance. Declan Conway in on the rush, but he couldn't get the shot away from the high slot. They will redo the drop here. Face off one by the Cox. Richitelli with it. Georgia quickly in on the four check though. Lockin couldn't get it out. Gannon walks the line. He'll take a shot. Looking for the tip in front was Parente. That one just goes wide off of a South Carolina stick. Burnett able to get it back in, but it's gloved down by Richitelli. Right back up ice though come the dogs. Richitelli regains control. Fires it off the boards and out. Playing ping pong here at center ice as Trevor Gutman will skate it back in for Georgia. Dump and chase here for Gutman. Looking for some help. He curls it back out of the corner. Centering pass looking for Whitwer in front. But he couldn't find the tape. This one will come right back out to center ice. Gannon makes the play. And it's taken right back off his stick by Nick Kay. Mulcairn toe drags around Burnett. Walking to the net. He shoots saved by Testino. And the dogs clean the house. They'll come right back the other way. Here's Jack Gannon. He's got Whitwer streaking. Gannon with a shot. It's blocked. This one goes skittering into the corner. Whitwer punches it in deep. Dan Bardo with it at the side of the goal. Rolling puck. He'll play it back up to the point. Strauss with a shot in front looking for the tip was Whitwer. But it was blocked that time by Santoro. Fired cross ice. Nice pass there. Thomas Locke in with it. And he'll dump it in deep and let the Cox get a change. That was a great save by Testino right up on him. A defender in his way saw it the whole time. How about the move from Mulcairn? And yeah. a toe drag around Burnett. Burnett's a hard man to get around, too. Very tall, very lanky, good at that defensive position. Flaherty passes it across for Berman. He'll walk it down the left wing side. Berman looking for some help as he curls around the net. Takes the check from Poole. Good strong check there to take the puck away. DeChico trying to keep it in at the line, and he does. But it leaves on the second effort there from Donato. Right back in come the Cox, though. Burnett with it. Berman, pardon me. Battling for it in the corner. Georgia trying to get it out, and they do this time. Mazaros chasing Flaherty. Cox regained control. Punzenberger in on the forecheck, though. Passes it over to Mazaros. Back to Punzenberger in the low slot, looking for something. Fired on goal, saved by Hayes. Rebound from the side of the goal. And it's stuck in the feet 
Mazzaro is trying to get it on net there, but it's not able to find its way through the traffic. Here's Lindstad. He'll drop it off. Here's a shot just wide from Lindstad. Centering pass. There's a shot. Another save by Testino. That time off the blocker. Poole chops at this one. The Bulldogs scrambling, and they will take that whistle as the puck goes up into the bench. That was an excellent shot from the goal line from Mazaros, I believe. I don't think that was intended to be a shot, just kind of throw it out in front. Not sure who it was, but it actually got up on Hayes and almost squeezed in between him and the pole. So now there'll be a defensive zone draw for the Dogs. They'd love to get Testino some breathing room here and get some consistent offensive zone pressure. Face off to the right of Testino, and off the tie-up, the Dogs come away with it. Hagerman with it, looking up the boards for Stewart. Trying to chip it up for Eberly, but it's not quite on the tape. Fired in deep. Cox able to get it out to center. Hagerman quickly in on it, though, but it comes back the other way. Here's DeChico. Sorry, that's Riggins, the goal scorer for South Carolina, as Eberly walks it back the other way for Georgia. Hoggins stretches out, avoids the offsides. Adler with a shot, tipped in front, rebound, cleared to the point. Hagerman with it, passes it across to Stewart. Stewart with a shot. That one's tipped again. It just goes over the goal. Hayes reaching for it as it bounces over the net. Hagen with it, takes another shot from the point. Couldn't find its way through the traffic. Regan's able to get a stick on it. And this one's skied out to center ice. Good play there by Hagerman to glove it down. Marvin with it for South Carolina. Again, gloved down by Hagerman. He'll take it on the rush as USC changes. About six guys on the ice. They had for seven the men on the ice. Played up to the point, Hedquist fires it in deep. Parente trying to play it down the wall for Conway. Here's a pass for Hedquist at the side of the goal. Nice pass, no look from Conway. But the Cox come back the other way. Here's Greeley trying to step around. Gannon, good switch there. Hagen gets the puck back for Georgia. Nice play at the wall though. Smoljice with it, trying to get it in front. Hard check in front that time on Scove. Here come the dogs back the other way. Conway with it, trying to play it to the front. Hedquist couldn't get the stick on it. Another pass by Conway finds, it way, finds its way through traffic. I don't know how he's finding some of these lanes tonight, but the dog's yet to capitalize on one of those passes. Here's a chance. Pineda for South Carolina cutting to the goal, and he'll just throw that one on net. Testino shrugs it off. Puck at the side of the goal. Conway lays out Pineda, and the Bulldogs bench will stand up for that one. Hedquist able to chip it out but not across center. Richitelli gets control. Puck still bouncing around at center ice here. Hedquist with it. He takes a slash and a check. Just able to step out of the way that, of that one was Hedquist. And here come the Cox back the other way. Scove's shot goes wide. Lots of extra contact after the play on a lot of these hits here. List trying to lay the body there on Mazaros. An extra slash from both sides. Mazzaro is trying to get it out. Here's Parente as that one took a bounce off the stanchion. Georgia will get a change. Parente across center. Plays it across. Takes a big check that time. And a little extra words for him from Ben Ricciatelli. Here come the Cox back the other way. K with it. Puck out in front of his tape. Couldn't get a stick on it. Locken couldn't keep it in deep. Here comes Mazzaro's back the other way for Georgia. Off the boards looking for Punzenberger. Steps around the check. Good glove there that time from Flaherty. Punzenberger regains control. His shot off the stick of Hayes. Donato with it for Georgia. Someone needs to get in front of Hayes. Here's a shot from Strauss. That one tipped off the stick of Flaherty, but it didn't hit the goal. Nice move. Punzenberger with it. Poked away from him. Mazaros takes Flaherty into the boards. Punzenberger fires it down for Donato. Looking back for the give and go, but it's chipped off the glass. Here's Punzenberger again. Sorry, that's Donato. Up to the point here, Strauss curls away from Flaherty. Nice move there on the blue line to keep the play going. Long shift here for the South Carolina defenders. Here's Flaherty back the other way. He takes a check at, at the blue line that time from Punzenberger, and the Georgia crowd's loving that one. He steps around the check. Lots of extra contact. They're looking to get Punzenberger back. There's a high cross check from Punzenberger, and he will go to the box for that one. I won't be surprised if there's a little more than two minutes on that. I think Pushkar should have gone to the box for a high elbow as well. I think he was responding to that more than the original check he laid. So this one chippy early. Dan Bardo lays a check at the blue line. Another big one. Slow to get up was Flaherty. We'll see what the call is here. 
Yeah, I'm surprised that they didn't call push cars retaliation on Punzenberger as he got up there high, right in that head and neck area with an elbow. We'll see if they send someone to the box, but I would expect a five on four power play here for the Gamecocks, a dangerous situation when the dogs are already trailing one to nothing. Refs will discuss it, and it looks like it's gonna be a two minute penalty on Punzenberger. So Punzenberger to the box, two minutes for cross checking. We'll get a first look at the South Carolina power play. Looks like it's gonna be Riggins, Greeley, and Wilkins up front. And the back end, Ricciatelli and DeChico. This is a dangerous scenario for the dogs, but if they can kill off this penalty kill, something they did so good against Clemson, they'll have a good opportunity. Face off one by the Cox. Not cleanly though, they're trying to get control on the perimeter and they do now. Ricciatelli walking the line, plays it back across for Riggins. Looking down low for DeChico, streaking at the back door. But he couldn't get the shot away, back up to the point. Rick Ricciatelli with it, down for DeChico. His shot sticked away by Testino. Rebound at the side of the goal. Testino will cover it. Not the ideal first about 25 seconds of that penalty, but a good enough start for the dogs. They're going to want to get a clear hair and try and give Testino a bit of a breather. He's already working hard in this game. Face off to the right of Ryan Testino. Played very well in the Clemson game last week, only giving up one goal that went off of his own defender skate late in the game. So the Cox trying to set something up here on the power play. About a minute and a half left on the man advantage. Tip in front, saved by Testino, cleared to the corner. Witt were there, but it's taken back by the Cox. At the side of the goal, Greeley trying to play it up to the point. Able to lay out for that one was Riggins. Ricciatelli back to Riggins. Returned for Ricciatelli. Shot looking for someone at the side of the net, but Hogan stops that one up in front. Georgia maybe looking for a hook there. Bench wanted a penalty, but no call. Pacheco with it, he'll skate it down the left wing, play it back up to the point for Ricciatelli. Fresh legs out there, locking in. Down on the back door, here's Riggins, back up top for Ricciatelli. On the line, he takes the shot, that one was tipped in front. Looks like it went wide, I don't think it found its way to Testino. DeChico with it, back up to the point for Ricciatelli. Takes another shot, blocked by Whitworth. Ricciatelli gets it right back though, walks it down, looking back door for Wilkins. But it got caught up in traffic again, went off the stick of Dan Bardo. 27 seconds left to go on the man advantage here for the Cox. Played across for List, tees one off at the side of the goal. That one went off a skate it looked like. Wilkins with it, takes a check there from Hagen. Back at the point, List settles it down. Plays it across to Riggins, back to List. He'll take a shot way over the goal. At the side of the net, here's a shot in front, bouncing off the boards behind, and they sky that one over the net again. We are back to even strength as Punzenberger's out of the box. Tessino saves it loose in front again. Quick whistle there, that puck was loose. And the South Carolina forwards with a little frustration for the quick whistle from the referees. Yeah, a little frustration as that one ended up getting all the way from Testino out into that face-off circle to his right. But they blow the whistle, so there'll be another defensive zone draw torn. That wasn't exactly your textbook penalty kill, but it worked out, and now you got to think maybe the Ice Dogs have some momentum here. Yeah, Georgia not able to really keep the puck to the outside very much. A few blocked shots, but a lot of point shots found their way through the center ice and the slot area. That's the most dangerous part of the ice right there in front of the goal. So Georgia will look to improve upon that. That was one area of their game that was very weak last year was net front defense. And I know that's been a very big point of emphasis for head coach John Camp this year. As the faceoff is won by the Cox, quickly in on the four check, but Gannon in to help out his teammates, and Georgia will skate it back the other way. Burnett with it, passes it over to Conway. Here comes Declan Conway, takes the shot off the stick of Hayes, it looked like. Conway again, plays it back up to the point for Gannon. Unable to step around Lockin though, as this one's poked back out to center ice. Lockin holding on to Gannon, Georgia wanted a penalty there, no call. Lockin at the side of the goal, Testino chips that one to the corner. And the dogs come back the other way. Here's Burnett, he's got Parente streaking, pass just bounced off the tape. Parente in behind the defense that time. Here's Hedquist though, Georgia with control once again. Hedquist centering pass looking for Conway in front. Another centering pass just squeaks through 
the high slot there and back out to center ice. 2.24 left to go in the first period. South Carolina still leading 1-0. Here's Parente, his shot easily saved by Hayes, and he will hold on to it. Zach Hayes is one of the most aggressive goalies out there. He was second in the AAU in assists with three as a goalie. There you saw him come out of that crease, played off the sideboards, and it was almost a dangerous decision as Hedquist picked it up in stride. It, unfortunately for the Ice Dogs, it bounced around on his stick, and he couldn't get control. But that's what Zach Hayes brings you, the good and the bad. So far, all good for him. Face off one by the Cox. Trying to play it out, but it's kept in by Poole. His shot just goes wide. This one chipped off the glass out to center. Poole chases it back in behind the goal. Leighton Poole wheeling out of his own end. Steps around the four checker. Poole plays it off for Tyler Stewart. Pineda trying to get it out and he does. Smojice there. Strauss able to play it out to back to center ice. Poole curls it back. Return to Strauss. And Adler will just lay that one down into the near corner. Georgia trying to set up the four check off the rush here, and that's a good chance there. That one just bounces wide. Adler on the wraparound, he scores! No, it's loose. Shot, Strauss with a shot, it's still loose in front. Bodies falling everywhere, don't know where the puck is. Referee says it's still loose as this one finds its way to the point. Poole able to keep it in, lots of bodies down in front. Poole stepping down, trying to play it to the front of the net, but a good play there by the defender, and this one's finally cleared. I don't know how Adler didn't put that one in. I think Adler did. I don't think Adler skates away from that pile unless he was sure that that puck got over the line. I think we have icing, it looks like, called on the Gamecocks. What a frenzy in front. I don't know how Hayes pushed across and got that one, able to keep it out. Okay. But the referee was right there. He had the best look in the house, and what he says goes. I have to agree, I think they had the best look, but Adler skated away after the wraparound. You wouldn't think he would just leave if there was any possibility that didn't go in. Big scram in front, or scrum, excuse me, and now we'll have an offensive zone draw for the Dogs. Face off one cleanly. Here's a shot off the draw. It goes off the skate of a South Carolina player. Burnett curls it back at center ice, trying to get it quickly back in. South Carolina able to change a couple of tired bodies out there. Pinedo with it. Donato quickly in on the four check. This one's rimmed around the boards. Gannon able to hold it at the line, though. He'll play it down low, looking for Mazaros. Donato in to help him out. Mazaros at the side of the goal. Donato gets control on the half wall. Back to the point. Gannon. He'll walk it down. Gannon looking for someone in front. Still with control of it. Turnaround shot. That one way over the goal and up into the netting. I do think the Ice Dogs have a good read of the situation. What I've been saying is Zach Hayes kind of saves every first shot, any slap shot. Anything he can get his eyes on, he's getting a glove or a blocker on. So these dogs aren't taking the slap shots from the blue line. They're trying to get up and close, get a tip in. I think it's a good offensive strategy. Almost paid off just about a minute ago. They'll have another 30 seconds to try and put one in the back of the net. Face off, one by the Cox, 30 seconds left to go in the first. They are content to just pull this one to the corner and run a few seconds off the clock. Ref's got to get in there and tell him to move it at some point. 15 seconds left. This is going to start a fight. I don't see the puck moving very much down there. Here's a little extra shot there from Mazaros. And puck finally loose, Ten, three seconds left to go, two, and that will do it for the first 20 minutes. So after 20, it's South Carolina on top, one to nothing. We will see you right back here for second period action. Don't go anywhere.
Hello, everybody. I'm here with Ice Dogs Captain Robbie Whitwer. Robbie, tough period, down one to nothing. What's the uh, mindset going into the second period here? Well, I think if we clean up a couple mistakes, I like the way we're playing. I mean, obviously, it's tough to go down a, a first goal, but overall, I think we're fine. It's just about staying level, not getting too low, too high. Uh, and, you know, we'll, it's a full 60-minute game for a reason. Absolutely. And on the season, we're 6-0 and on the uh, power or on the penalty kill. Excuse me. So what's the uh, key to maintaining a strong penalty kill here? Well, I think it's good communication. I mean, obviously, uh, we're scrambling out there a little bit on that two-minute, got stuck out there. Uh, I think what we got to do better is get pucks out when we get a chance because this power play is good enough where they'll make us pay. Awesome. Thank you. Go dogs, and I'll see you. And now a word from one of our sponsors. Get ready to score big with the ultimate Ice Dogs fan experience. It's the Red Zone, your one-stop shop for all things Ice Dogs. From jerseys to caps, hoodies, and more, they've got all the official gear that will have you looking like a true Ice Dogs legend. So whether you're cheering in the stands or watching from home, gear up in style with the Red Zone at UGAredZone.com, the Red official retailer of all Ice Dogs merchandise. Hello and welcome back for second period action here between the UGA Ice Dogs and the USC Gamecocks. I'm Torin Smith, joined by Joe Kopcho and Ren Grimsley, and we are broadcasting live from the ice incoming Georgia, where the Gamecocks currently lead the Bulldogs one to nothing. So, how about that first period action, Joe? Not a lot went on in terms of goal scoring, but maybe some physicality. Yeah, lots of physicality, some four on fours, penalties on both sides, power play opportunities, although short ones for the Ice Dogs. It was a very physical and speed based first period. I think these teams played pretty evenly. I would even say the Ice Dogs played a little bit better, but the goal, of course, does go to John Riggins for the Cox as it drifted in between Testino's legs as the centers glide in. As the centers glide into the face-off dot, we will get ready for second period action. Face-off won by Conway. We are go here from coming. Conway with it for Georgia. He'll play it across to Gannon, his D-man. Gannon up the boards for Parente. Chips that one in off the glass. And deep, Zach Hayes with it. 
But he turns it over behind the goal. Conway takes a check there from Richitelli as this puck almost goes into the Georgia bench. Parente able to glove it down. Here's Conway. Two-on-one chance for the Bulldogs. Conway with it at the side of the goal. Shoot! Saved by Hayes. And the rebound's cleared but not out. Burnett able to keep it in. Conway with it. He's got Hedquist in the high slot. Looking for the back door. Here's Gannon walking in. Makes a move. Rebound just goes wide. Hayes way out of the goal. At the side of the goal. Parente. Hedquist with it again. He shoots. He scores! James Hedquist. Ties it for the Bulldogs. Number 44 only needed 44 seconds to tie this game up just in the start of the second period. An excellent job of consistent pressure. One bounces around. He misses off the stick of Ronan Mulcair, and it goes behind the net. He stays out in front, something we know the Ice Dogs need to do with Zach Hayes. It comes back in front of him, and he puts it in and ties this one up one-to-one. -one. Another mad scramble in front of the net. This one... Finally resulting in a Georgia goal. Maybe a little bit of weight off of the red bench over here as they finally break the, score, the scoring drought that they've had through this one. How about James Hedquist? Two goals in two games for him as an ice dog. The freshman from Floral Park, New York. Looking very good in his first two ice dogs games as the Cox are right back in with some pressure here. Greeley trying to keep it in, but Donato will skate this one out to center. Yeah, these freshmen for the ice dogs have been impressive. Both Hedquist and so far Will Donato. That one's dumped in by DeChico, but Strauss able to corral it for Georgia. He'll curl back away from Wilkins. Poole looking up ice for Georgia, looking for the long pass for Mazaros. Goes off the stick of Flaherty, but it's in deep. Here's Donato chasing DeChico. Mazaros there to help out, but the Cox come up with it. Donato without a stick. He'll pin it to the boards with his skate that time. DeChico comes away with the puck for South Carolina. Mazaros in hard on him. Donato picks his stick up, kicked up the boards. Punzenberger gets it, though. Georgia with control. Here's Mazaros down low looking for a shot at the side of the goal. Georgia looks like they think it was in, but the net looks like it's off down there. And another brawl at the side of the goal as Hayes is sprawled out. Yeah, this time I think this is a good call by the refs. I think Hayes was kind of on top of that one and fighting for it even after it seemed to be covered, as I believe, Punzenberger. So he just kept going after it. And that ended up bringing the net off, and I think South Carolina kept going after him. Now, it wasn't the cleanest of plays by Punzenberger as Hayes looked to have a good handle, but the retaliation from John Riggins, the goal scorer, will send him to the box for two minutes. So it looks like Riggins is going to be the only one that goes to the box as a result of this play. So he's got a goal and a penalty tonight. I think that's kind of one of the, you know, unwritten rules that the dogs broke there, and then Riggins broke a written rule so he's going to be sent into the box of course while Punzenberger will be back on the bench as the first penalty line comes on the first power play line for these dogs so offensive zone draw here for Georgia top power play line back out there or second power play line pardon me as Hedquist, the goal scorer, back out there for Georgia with Conway and Parente and Poole and Gannon, two very good goal-scoring defensemen out there on the point for Georgia. Face-off won by Conway. Parente plays it to the point. Back down the half-ball for Parente. Here's Conway walking down in the low slot. His shot shrugged away that time by Hayes as he got a shoulder on it. Pass in front is taken away by the Cox, and they will clear it. Yeah, you mentioned two great offensive defensemen. Usually you see a team play one better defenseman, but... They're bringing out all the offense are the Ice Dogs. Here comes Conway with speed down the left wing side. Trying to break it down to the net. Good play there to keep him to the outside was Ronan Mulcairin. Glove down on the dumping attempt. Marvin will skate it back the other way for the Cox and kill a few more seconds off of this penalty. Good job by Gannon there to let the Ice Dogs reset without some four-check pressure from USC. Pool way up ice. He's got Hedquist. He'll bring it in across the blue line. James Hedquist, the goal scorer for Georgia. Hayes shoots that one away from him. Parente regains control for the Ice Dogs, though. Three guys on that side of the ice for Georgia as Conway goes down. Hedquist still battling for it. Great penalty killing here for the Cox so far as a minute's gone as they clear it one more time, and they will get a change, some fresh legs out there on the kill. Just excellent fundamental penalty killing, as you said. Dogs haven't had one good opportunity. Here comes Jack Gannon down the left wing side. Stops up, plays it back for Poole. Here's Poole in stride. He'll skate it to the outside, drop it off for Punzenberger. Conway unable to keep it at the point on a bad pass from Dylan Punzenberger. He'll circle back. Great pressure here from Wilkins. 
to kill a few more seconds. 30 seconds left to go on the penalty to John Riggins. Here's Poole across to Conway. Steps around his man. Conway with it on the outside. Looking for Poole up top. Gannon gets it, though. He'll take a shot. It goes off a skate and up into the netting. We'll get another faceoff. This has just been a great penalty kill by USC, and you thought maybe after the goal and now a power play that the Ice Dogs would have the momentum, and it seems like the Cox have just gained it all back. They still have 12 seconds to kill off, but this is certainly going in the right direction for USC after a little bit of a slip-up early in the second period. 12 seconds left to go on the penalty to Riggins. Georgia wins the draw, but it's cleared on a great play there by Zach List. Hagerman with it, turns it over in the corner though, and we are back to even strength. Georgia back in to help. They were waiting for the breakout on the last rush of the power play, but it never got back to them. As the forwards are back in to help out on the breakout, but here's Pinedo with it for South Carolina, trying to turn it back up. Punzenberger turns it over at the line. Able to get to it first was Bill Martin though. A lucky break there for Georgia. Hagerman is hammered at the boards right in front of the penalty box. And he'll get up. He's hearing it from the South Carolina bench. Hagerman gets the puck at the blue line, steps across, drops it off for Punzenberger, turns it over again at the blue line. Here come the Cox back the other way. Here's Carson Scove. He's got help with him in Pineda. Scove with it, loses control of the puck. Stick handled one too many times there in the high slot. South Carolina still with it. That shot just goes wide from Pushkar. Martin with it, plays it up for Adler on the breakout. And the Dogs will come back the other way. Donato leaves it for Hagerman. Takes another check right there in front of the penalty box. Looking, like he lost his footing that time. And he looks a little shaken up after that one. Yeah, not a great shift for Hagerman in terms of getting beat up. Here's Stewart with a pass in front. Eberly couldn't get a shot away. Follows it into the corner, though. Plays it up to Poole. His shot, looking for the tip in front, was Stewart. But it just goes wide. And here come the Cox back the other way. Stewart trying to lay a check there on number 10, Nick K, But he couldn't get it. As Kay was able to sidestep him, here comes Poole walking in. Into the low slot, looking for the centering pass. Adler couldn't get a shot away. Kay trying to clear it, takes the check there from Poole. We got some physicality down there in the corner. Kay takes Poole down, here come the Cox back hey, the other way. That had to be a penalty, it is. And it's going to be a penalty on the game, Cox. Cooler heads prevail for Georgia as Poole with a few extra words for Kay, but the dog will go back on the power play. I don't blame Cool or uh, Poole some 10-on-10 10 10 crime as Kay... Hit Poole while he was on the ground. He was coming up, and he just cross-checked him right in the face. Poole keeps his cool, though, and does an excellent job to get these dogs back on the power play. So Georgia 0 for 1 in the period, 0 for 2 on the power play tonight. This will be their third power play opportunity. With just about five and a half minutes gone through this second period, we are tied 1 to 1. Face-off will be to the left of Hayes. Parente gets it, plays it up the boards for Gannon. Across to Conway, at the top of the circle, laid down in the corner for Parente, back to Conway on the half wall. But the Cox will clear this one off the stick of Riggins. Looking for a big hit that time was Lockin. Just got a piece of Gannon, but it looks like Lockin took the brunt of that one. And he goes down hard again into the boards. Here comes Hedquist. He takes a shot from the outside off the stick. That one was tipped up high into the glass. Poole able to keep it in, but this one's cleared on the second attempt. It hit the linesman. Lucky break there for the Cox, though. Wilkins almost had a chance. A great back check there from Hedquist to break that one up. Here come the dogs back the other way. Conway shutter steps in down the left wing side. Backhand toe drag through the legs. Conway centering pass. Couldn't get the pass away. Here's Gannon. Parente high slot. His shot saved by Hayes, and he will hold on to it. Great opportunities there for the Ice Dogs. Lockin took some big hits once he dealt out to himself as he goes into the half wall and then the boards. But some good opportunities based off that. I think it's clear, Torn, that based on this power play in the last one, they want to run everything through that first power play line through Conway, get Hedquist out in front, and let Conway do what he does best, which is distribute. So the face off again to the right of Hayes, and it's won cleanly by Georgia. Burnett on the point. New power play lineup out there for Georgia. Here's Mazaros. Down low for Donato. Back up top for Burnett. Mazaros with it. 
on the half wall. Back to the point man. Burnett with a shot. That one's blocked in front. And the Cox have a chance here. Couldn't get the pass up to Berman as he had a step on Burnett. Off the block shot there. Here's Donato in the high slot. Trying to step around his man. Good defensive play there by the Cox to keep it away from that high danger scoring area. Punzenberger able to keep it in the zone though. Burnett across to Hagen. Back across. Here's Punzenberger with the shot. Saved by Hayes. And he'll freeze it again. Yeah, good movement there, but Punzenberger just can't place that where he wants. He has to either go high, near post, or far post, and that time he just threw it right on Zach Hayes. He swallows it up, and 30 seconds left about in the UGA power play, closing in on 13 minutes here. This would be a big face-off win if Mazaros can glide in, get it back to the defenders, and get some quick movement. Mazaros wins it cleanly to Hagen, dusts it off, plays it back to the half wall, return pass to Hagen. Looking for the shot, elects to drop it back off to his partner. Back to Hagen, but he couldn't handle it cleanly in the feet. Here's a shot from the goal line. Mazaros, we've seen him do that a couple times in these first two games here. That one cleared in on goal. 13 seconds left to go on the man advantage for Georgia. Hagen trying to get one last rush going for Georgia. Here's Burnett looking for Hagen on the breakout. Punzenberger chips it through the legs. Here's a chance for Georgia. Mazaros on the outside trying to toe drag. Great play there by Flaherty to break it up. We are back to even strength. Hagen takes a check on the blue line. Here's a chance for South Carolina. Flaherty walking it in. He'll take a shot from the outside, way wide of the goal. Testino not tested there. As the Cox pin this one in on the half wall. Donato trying to get it out. Flaherty right there, though. Here's Punzenberger trying to step around his man. Great defensive play there by List to corral that one. Taking the puck instead of the body there. We haven't seen a whole lot of that tonight. A lot of guys opting for the check first mentality as that one's fired right back into the zone by the Cox. Nice move by Donato, almost loses it though. Lindstad forechecking there. Here comes Alex Strauss, he'll dump this one in as Georgia gets a change, but they'll need to get out there quick. Here's a quick up here for South Carolina. Smojaif passes it off for Wilkins. Pull back, Smo or Wilkins with a shot saved by Testino. He saw that one all the way through to the net. He'll take that every day as this one's cleared but not out. List able to glove it down. Whitwer plays it back for Poole. Across to Strauss. And he'll skate it out to center ice himself. Fires it across to Gutman. Here's Gutman down the left wing side. He's got weight. We're streaking in the net looking for the pass, but a good defensive play by List. Breaks that one up yet again. He's been all over the ice on this shift. As Bardo lays a check there, that one's definitely going to be a boarding penalty and a little extra contact after the play, but the dogs touch up, and Bardo will go to the box. Yeah, as you said, definitely boarding. There can't really be an argument there as he just brought him straight in. And that'll be two minutes. And after killing off two power plays, the Cox will now have one of their own. This is a big opportunity to put them back up in front. Real quick, I do want to talk about Alexander Straw's shift there. How often do we see him facilitating? He's kind of that defender's defenseman. He stepped around the guy, threw it off the boards, got it to himself, and then he made an excellent pass in the middle of the ice to start that breakout. That was a great shift from Strauss on the offensive side, something we're not typically used to, although it's obvious he can do it. Strauss, of course, we mentioned playing in his first game of the season, served a suspension that he gained or that he racked up in the national tournament last year. Here's a chance in front. Testino gets a pad on it. Rebound still loose in front. Testino falls on it, and he will freeze it. Bad turnover off the faceoff. But the big man in goal, Ryan Testino, able to freeze that one and keep this one tied. And how many times did we see that last year? That was UGA's downfall especially on the penalty kill. You can't do that, but Testino stands strong. You just don't want to see him do that all the time. You prefer the defense gets that one out, of course. Face off one by the Cox, played back up to the point. Here's Richatelli. Pushkar knocks down the pass. He'll play it back down low. Here's a chance for the Cox in front, looking for the pass, but this one's cleared on the break, broken pass there. I think Hagen got a piece of that one. So the Cox trying to get something going. 30 seconds gone off the man advantage here on the penalty to Dan Bardo. Looking to try and, try and get it through center ice that time was Thomas Locken. But it's kept out and fired back down the length of the ice. Yeah, great job by Conway to get that back out. Here comes Richatelli trying to step around Conway. Aggressive penalty kill forecheck here for Georgia. Trying to get the puck in the neutral zone. And it might burn them here as there's three guys back for South Carolina, but the Dogs able to get that one out. Yeah, that's something we've seen all night, even not on the penalty kill. So the Dogs aren't changing their strategy. Here's Conway in on the forecheck hard. Two guys deep for Georgia here on the PK. As Pushkar pulls back 
from the aggressive penalty killers here. Mazaros and Eberle back out there now for Georgia. As Eberle lays a check on Pushkar, here's a chance for Georgia. Mazaros breaking to the net. He's got Gannon with him. Mazaros from the outside looking for Gannon, but it's broken up. Here's the centering pass. That one's broken up again. Here's a chance back the other way for South Carolina. Riggins with it down the left wing side. He loses control, has to go around the net. Riggins waiting for help as his D-men change. Passes it off for List, down low, lock in with it. Skates it up the half wall, 20 seconds left to go on the power play. Lock in with a shot at the side of the goal. Riggins picks it up, looking cross crease, no one there. Here's List on the half wall. His shot tipped in front, and it goes up into the netting and out of play. Luke Burnett's stick lift just saved a goal right there. Right in front, open man. Couldn't see the number exactly. Looks like number 22, Dylan Greeley. He was wide open. Luke Burnett gets a clutch stick lift. And then thankfully for the Ice Dogs, that puck, instead of being in the back of the net, drifted to the corner where it was then forced out of play. And then on the other end, Zach Hayes with a great stick kept Conway, or excuse me, Mazaros from getting one through that crease. So a face off to the left of Testino. 10 seconds left to go on the penalty to Dan Bardo. Face off one by the Cox. Conway quickly on it though. Here's a two on one chance, but the puck just way out in front of Conway's stick. And that will do it for the penalty. So we are back to even strength, but an odd man rush here for South Carolina as they get past the dogs four checkers. List with it in the corner. Couldn't get anything off the three on two chance there. And Burnett will take it for Georgia. Trying to go off the glass for Parente, but it's kept in by Wilkins. Wilkins on the half wall battling with Parente. And he'll chip this one up and out. Greeley back for South Carolina. Conway trying to pick it up, but Wilkins gets it back for the Cox. Here's Riggins with it, stops up on the blue line, fires it across for Flaherty. Flaherty looking for the backdoor chance. No one there couldn't get the puck through. And Parente will try and get it out. Takes a big check there down in the corner, but he gloves down the dump in chance. Looking for the stretch pass for Conway, but he lost his footing. Great chance, great read by Conway. To try and get a breakaway there. Here's Hedquist at the side of the goal. Here's Conway, drops it off. Parente with a shot saved by Hayes. And he'll hold on to it. Again, some beautiful passing from the Ice Dogs. That was perfect set up exactly how they wanted when USC was out of position. But again, you can't just throw it at Zach Hayes. He's so big. He's so good. 6'2", 170, two goals against last year to the tune of an almost 950 save percentage. So you can't throw it right at him. That's the second time Parente has done so. Needs to get a little more action on that puck. Yeah, some great passing plays from the Georgia second line of Conway, Hedquist, and Parente. Conway really seeing the ice well tonight, finding the lanes. But that line unable to capitalize other than that one opportunity on the broken play. Here come the Cox into the Georgia zone. Good defensive play by Strauss. As his stick was held up, he wanted a call, but Donato able to help him out, and Georgia will clear the zone. Strauss got held up and then still blocked the shot. The puck just seems to find him, doesn't it? He's bruised a lot. Georgia... Taking a few seconds off the clock. They'll curl this one back. And Punzenberger unable to handle it cleanly. Scove trying to get it in deep, but Strauss sticks that one down, takes the check, but lays his man out at the blue line. A couple extra words for him. And Scove gets right back up and, pu and pushes him over. Strauss skates away from the extra contact, lifts the stick there. One of the South Carolina forwards, Pinedo, without a stick now. But this one's played back here, Strauss. Kind of slowing down a little bit. Just past the midpoint here in this second period. Both teams kind of feeling each other out now. Back to even strength. Here's Mazaros looking in front for Punzenberger. A great chance there, but he couldn't get a stick cleanly on it. Here come the Cox back the other way. Reed with it, looking in front, but he couldn't get a shot. That time was Marvin. That's another Santor. turnover for Punzenberger in the defensive zone. It is. He's not holding on to the puck very well down here in the Georgia zone. Here's Martin on the breakout for Georgia. Donato looking cross ice. He's got Punzenberger. Martin with it, but he couldn't handle it cleanly. Marvin will curl it back in behind the Gamecock goal. Mazaros with it. Passed out in front for Stewart. His shot saved by Hayes. I don't think he saw that one. It just kind of hit him. Hogan fires it in deep. Eberly with it now in the corner. Looking in front for Adler. He'll play it back up to the point. Martin fires it back down in deep. Eberly at the side of the goal looking for Adler. Couldn't get a shot off as he corrals it on the backhand. Stewart plays it low. Adler chasing it in the opposite corner. Fights through the check. Everly trying to help him out. Puck goes back up to the point. 
Eberly lays a man out, gets the puck back, trying to play it back down in front. Here's Eberly, nice move. Looking for the pass to Adler, just bounces over his stick. Lots of traffic in front, Hogan with it. He's got Adler down low, his shot just goes wide. A great chance for Sam Adler. That puck just barely goes out of the zone. That uh, one looked like it was good to me, but the linesman says no. I don't think that linesman can make that call either. There's someone sitting right on top of the puck. I know he can, but there's a better view of that, and he calls it all the way from the other side. I know it's allowed, but it just seems like the wrong man to make that call, and now they'll be a draw in the neutral zone. So face off in front of the Georgia bench, only four Ice Dogs on the ice right now. What's some great shifts there from the Ice Dogs? That was the most consistent pressure we've seen all night. Excellent pressure from the third line from Georgia. They're still out there right now. That one definitely offsides as Adler was a couple steps back. I'd like to take this time to give a very special shout out to Mr. and Mrs. Camp, Coach John Camp's parents all the way up in Cape May, New Jersey. They love to watch the games up there, so a hello from us at the Ice Dogs YouTube channel. Face off in front of the Georgia bench once again. New line out there. It's the fourth line of Bardo, Whitwer, and Gutman. This one fired cross ice. Trying to get it out to center ice. Gutman able to keep it, though, and he'll fire it right back into the South Carolina zone. Kay trying to get it out. Kept in, though. Here's Whitwer at the point. Trying to play it on net. That one tipped just wide. A bad read there from Sean Reed. Here's Hagerman. His shot finds its way through, but not on goal. Gannon on the half wall. Plays it down low for Bardo. Here's Whitwer in the corner. Fighting off Ricciatelli. But Ricciatelli comes up with the puck anyway. He'll go off the glass. High sticked by Gutman. The Cox touch up as the Dogs get a change. Here's Lockin looking for the pass across. Hedquist able to stick it down, but he'll get the puck right back. Here comes Thomas Lockin. Curls it back, waiting for help, fires it back into the zone. Gannon there for Georgia. Kay battling with him. And the dogs come back the other way. Here's Gannon, plays it up for Conway. Here's a chance, nice pass. Conway shoots, save, he scores! Declan Conway sneaks it under the arm of Hayes. And the Ice Dogs take the lead. What a series of events. Conway catches it in between his legs. How often do you see a player maybe lose his skate, lose speed? Conway keeps it up. We know his best trade is skating. And he waits for the man, fakes the pass, and gets it right under the, it looked like the blocker arm. Maybe it might have been glove side of Zach Hayes. That was one of the opportunities where you see Zach Hayes save that. But when you have consistent offensive zone pressure for five minutes, you can't expect your goalie to stand on his head that long. Ice Dogs up 2-1. So as it has been all night, the second line of this Ice Dogs team has been all over the ice. Conway putting the Dogs up 2-1 to one late here in the second period. Four minutes left to go, and it's a whole new game. Here's Wilkins in. The Cox not going down without a fight, though. They are right back into the Georgia zone. This one's cleared out to center. Glove down and chipped right back in by DeChico. Poole curls it back away from Wilkins. Fires it across ice for Strauss. Looks across for Hedquist. Up into his shins, though. Couldn't handle it cleanly. The dogs regrouping. Poole clears it to the boards for Parente. Trying to dump it in, and he does, but Flaherty comes up with it for South Carolina. Flaherty across. Here's Wilkins. Slowly into the zone. He'll just lay it down into the far corner. Chasing this one is Riggins. But taken away from him, Conway with it, firing it way up ice, but it's blocked. Looking for the stretch pass to Hedquist. Another stretch pass, Parente couldn't get it cleanly. It's kicked right back to him, though. Here comes Parente down the right wing side. He's got Hedquist behind him, shot from the outside, goes way up into the netting, and we'll have an offensive zone faceoff for Georgia. And like you said, this is a totally new game. I know it's only the second week of the season, Torin, but I think it wouldn't be a stretch to say both these teams had this game circled on their calendar. It's the first game for USC, second for the Ice Dogs, but this game might be one of the most important all season. It was called the game of the week by many outlets, and so far it's living up to the hype. Face off one by the Cox. Played around the boards, Pinedo with it. Trying to clear it on the Cox, but it's kept in by Mazaros. Scove trying to get it out. Good play there by Hagen at the line. Here's a hard check, and this one will be offsides. 
A little extra shot there from List. And Mazaros puts it in the net. I'm not sure <laughs> if the Cox will like that one. Just casually, maybe throw it off a little bit. I really want to see this top line perform. We've seen great work from the second line. This first line hasn't been bad, but it just needs to get a little bit better. Mazzaro's facilitating. I think Will Donato has been excellent physically. Parente, or excuse me, Punzenberger has been doing well. Just need a little bit more from them. Face off in front of the Georgia bench. One back into the Cox zone by South Carolina. Hard in on the forecheck are the Bulldogs. Punzenberger with a hard check. Able to stay with it, though, was Mulcairin. And a great way to play through the contact there as the Cox come back the other way. Here's Pineda. Trying to step around Hogan. Good defensive play there by the big Ice Dogs D-man. At the side of the goal, Pineda comes up with it again. Looking for the centering pass. Here's a shot. That one just tipped in the high slot off of Donato and out of play. A lucky break there for Georgia. Yeah, that was a great pass. Found its man right up in that high slot. and Luckily, Donato able to skate over and tip that above the net because that was looking kind of like the passing plays earlier from the Dogs where it just all went so well and kind of a similar result to those plays in which just can't find the back of the net. And you know with these last two minutes and 30 seconds, South Carolina's going to look to get offensive. Here's a move on the faceoff. Pushkar able to get a shot away as he stepped around Mazaros. But Testino stands tall with the glove. That was an amazing play from both sides. Pushkar steps through after winning the draw and then gets an excellent shot. Testino flashes the leather. Faceoff won by the Gamecocks. Another shot right off the draw. The Cox trying to catch Testino sleeping, but he's wide awake back there in the Georgia zone. Here's Donato back the other way for Georgia. Steps around to D-man. Plays it in front looking for Punzenberger, but it's chipped away by the Cox. There's a big check on K as Hagen steps down from the point. Hagen walking it in the high slot. Takes the backhand shot off the back of Pushkar. A good block. I don't know if Hayes would have seen that one. Georgia with a lot of room trying to walk that one down into the slot. They've done it several times here in this second period. That's usually a problem for them on the defensive side, but South Carolina struggling with that tonight as this one's cleared down into the Gamecock zone. Georgia gets a wholesale change here. Adler comes up with the puck. A minute and a half left to go in the period. Adler taking it away from the four-checking Pushkar. Great play off the bench by Lindstad to come up with it, though. Here's Pushkar. Drops it off for Lindstad. Down low. Lock in with it. His shot at the side of the goal goes off the side of the net. Lindstad couldn't get a stick on it, and Gannon will skate it back the other way for Georgia. Jack Gannon lays it up for Stewart, trying to get it around the D-man, but Adler's there to help him out. Here's Adler in around the goal, looking for Eberly. Eberly's got Gannon streaking, walking in, but he couldn't get a shot away. Great play by Berman to break that one up. Gannon trying to sneak down from the point, and he'll pin this one into the wall. Stewart covering back on D for Gannon as the Cox trying to stretch this one out. Stewart back there, almost turned it over. Lindstad fighting for it with Eberly. This one's chipped back in by Marvin, but the dogs come up with it. Here's Stewart, 39 seconds left to go in the period. Stewart down the right wing side. He's checked hard, goes up into the air, but Stewart comes right back up with it. Into the high slot, he shoots. That one's blocked, it goes back to the point, bounces over the stick of Burnett, and back out to center ice. One last rush for Georgia if they hurry here. Hayes able to play it at the side of the net. Fresh legs out there for both sides. Berman with it. Stops up behind the goal, 13 seconds. Left in the second period. Whitwer lays a check. Here's Bardo holding it at the blue line. Steps around Greeley. Trying to keep it in deep, five seconds left. And the Cox will just pin this one to the boards and hold it. As the horn sounds, that'll do it for the second period. After 40, it's 2-1 Ice Dogs. We'll see you right back here for third period action. Don't go anywhere.
And now a word from one of our sponsors. There's few things more important to a hockey player than his hair. That's why the Ice Dogs only trust the best. The Old Fashioned Barber, located at 1725 Electric Avenue, Watkinsville, Georgia. Go with the flow. Go with the Old Fashioned Barber. And as we get set here for the third period action, we'll take a look at the starting lineups for South Carolina. It's Kay Pushkar and Lockin up front with Mulcairin and Richatelli on D. For the Ice Dogs, it's Hedquist, Parente, and Conway with Gannon and Burnett on the back end. As the centers glide into the face-off dot, face-off is won by the Dogs, and we are go for third period action. The Ice Dogs leading 2-1 to one after 40 minutes here, looking to close this one out against the Cox. Hedquist, the rookie, in on the four-check, loses his footing. Conway breaks that one up. Puck goes back out to center ice, and the Dogs will regroup. Gannon trying to play it off the boards. Hedquist couldn't get it in deep as the Cox curl it back. Turned over, though. Here's Hedquist. He drops it off for Parente. Takes the shot just wide of the goal. A prime scoring opportunity there for Georgia, but Parente just sends it wide. Here's Burnett playing it for his partner, Gannon. Taken away by Nick Kay. Looking for the centering pass for Pushkar, but it's got a stick there from one of the ice dogs in front of the goal. Kay in the corner, looking for help. Drops it down low for Lockin. Into the opposite side now, looking for a centering pass. No one there. And the dogs take it back the other way, but it's chopped at at the blue line. Cox have to touch up. Conway settles the rolling puck. And he'll look up ice. Conway chips it, avoids the check. Donato trying to get around Flaherty. But he's able to sky it out to center ice. Here come the Cox back the other way. Here's Riggins. Walks the line. Riggins takes a shot. Looking for the tip in front was Flaherty, but it just goes wide. The Dogs trying to get it out. Here's Punzenberger. He's got Conway, but he misses the pass. Donato trying to skate onto it. But Greeley's back to it first for the Cox, and he'll regroup it. Here's Greeley in stride down the left wing side. Takes a check there from Punzenberger, but he's still got the puck into the corner. Mazzaro is able to help out Punzenberger, but not out of the zone. Here's List. Drops it off for Riggins. His shot looking for the, the man in front, but it goes off a skate in the low slot. Here's a stretch pass, but it's broken up by Flaherty and back the other way come the Gamecocks. Taken away, here's Donato. Mazzaro's three on two opportunity for the Dogs. Here's Punzenberger, steps around the spot. Here's a shot, he scores! Will Donato on the pass from Punzenberger and the Dogs extend the lead to two. Listen to those barks, Torin, that was perfect. He got the first man to commit and that is Will Donato's first career goal and it was a beauty, three to one Dogs. Donato draws it up perfectly. A great passing play from all ends. They get the defenseman to commit. Then it's a three on one after he steps around him. He goes long side. Zach Hayes has to split and he can't get all the way to the other side. Donato, top left corner, blocker side. Perfect job by all the Ice Dogs and perfect job as that puck is getting passed around and will be saved for Will Donato's first career goal. How about that shot? He beats Hayes short side on the blocker. And Hayes has been very strong side to side in this game, but he couldn't keep up with the pass that time from Punzenberger. And Punzenberger been a little shaky with the puck tonight, but looks pretty good to start this third period, wouldn't you say, Joe? Yeah, that was absolutely perfect to get the defenseman to commit, keep it, and make that pass. But the Cox right back in on the forecheck. Here's a shot from at the side of the goal by Smojais, but it goes wide. Rimmed around the boards, able to keep it in is Marvin. Tommy Marvin walking down the left wing side into the corner. Shakes off the D-man. Passes across. That shot blocked away by Testino. Rebound bouncing around low. The shot goes wide. Testino extended the glove, but it bounces across the crease and into the corner. Martin trying to fire it down around the boards. This one won't be enough for icing. I don't think Stewart able to beat it out. And he lays a man out. Here's Tyler Stewart. The big freshman down in there. He passes it off for Whitwer. Trying to dance down low into the corner. Robbie Whitwer battling for it. Bardo in to help him out. Pineda there for South Carolina. Steps around Bardo, and he takes the puck back behind the goal. And we got a little battle at the, at the South Carolina bench between Gutman and Scove. Nothing called there. Not too much. Not enough for the ref to call at least. And here come the dogs back the other way. Bardo in a foot race trying to beat 
Marvin to the puck, but Marvin able to shoot it back into the dog zone. That one will be icing, though. So a face-off inside the South Carolina zone. These ice dog rookies are something, eh, Torin? Yeah, how about that four check there from Stewart? Stewart comes in. He's got a one on two. He's got two South Carolina Gamecocks circling him. He is able to deliver that check back, and when they came up on him, he was able to keep it going and almost turned into another offensive opportunity for the Ice Dogs as there was a broken stick on the ice. I think that might have been what Scove was upset about. They'll return it to the bench and we'll have a draw here. So a face off to the left of Hayes. Fresh legs out there for Georgia. This second line been flying all night. Two of Georgia's three goals as Parente chops that one right back into the zone. Chasing it is Mulcairn. He'll come back up with it on the other side. Poked away from him by Hedquist, but Lindstad comes up with it for the Cox and dumps it into the opposite corner. Here's Gannon with it. Able to take it away from him was Santoro. Puck in behind the Georgia goal. Played back up to the point. DeChico couldn't keep it, though, and here comes Conway back the other way for Georgia. Three-on-two chance for the Ice Dogs. Conway steps around DeChico, trying to drop it off, but he couldn't get the puck away. And here come the Cox back the other way, odd man rush. Pushkar steps around Strauss, walking in. His shot saved by Testino. Puck loose. No, Testino's got it. And he'll hold on to it. What a job by Testino. What a job by Pushkar. Dances around and gets a shot, but it's right into Testino's grill. He'll save that every day. Good job from the top offenseman for this team in Pushkar. And a good job for that big backstop in Testino. Of course, Pushkar taking over this kind of lead role for Owen Thomas, who graduated out. He had the overtime winner last year. Pushkar not leading the team to the same success tonight as they trail 3-1. to one. Still plenty of time. Plenty of time, and the Gamecocks not showing any signs of slowing as they take a shot right off the draw. Testino shrugs that one off through the screen. And here come the dogs back the other way. Josh Mazaros with it. He'll fire it into the near, the near corner. Chasing it is Richatelli. Good battling there from Punzenberger, but he loses the puck. Mazaros able to chop it back in deep at the blue line. Mazaros looks like he has an equipment failure here. Here comes Locken down the right wing side. Thomas Locken looking for someone in front. Here's Kay with a shot. Just goes wide. I think might have gotten a piece of that one in front. Another block at the top of the point. Pushkar trying to keep it in, and he does. Fired back to the right of Testino. K in on the forecheck, Strauss battling for it. Poole takes his place, and he'll pin this one to the boards. K knocks Poole down, and we got a whistle here. I think they're going to call it's that a hand, hand pass. pass. Yeah, a hand pass, Joe. So Poole loves doing that, but he forgot that here he could not. You mentioned Owen Thomas. We've got some Ice Dogs alumni in the crowd tonight. Former Ice Dogs captain Matt Bigda in attendance at the side of the Georgia bench tonight. Yeah, he's right there. Close to Isaac Hogan, the backup goalie. See him kind of standing above the crowd as he was one of the taller enforcers for this Ice Dog team. So over 50 penalty minutes last year. And of course, hey, and how about Owen Thomas taking his place on that top line? He's got a goal tonight. Not Owen Thomas, I'm sorry. Yeah. Will Donato. There you go. Lots of names to keep track of here. Owen Thomas, very comparable, 100 career points, just like Big Dub, but for the Cox. Both teams missing a couple of their leading scorers from last season. South Carolina trying to set something up here in the Ice Dog zone. Here's a shot from the outside. Testino got it, but it's loose. And Flaherty couldn't get the one-timer at the point. As this one goes all the way back down into the South Carolina zone. Here's Eberle with it. Drops it off looking for Stewart, but the no-look pass didn't connect. And here come the Cox back the other way. DeChico with it. Couldn't get around Hogan. Cox have to touch up. Adler fires it across for Hagerman. Mishandled. Riggins in to fight for that one. Adler in to help out his D-man. Played back out to center ice. Riggins gets it back, though, and he'll just sky it down into the opposite corner and get a change. If Strauss wasn't positioned perfectly and had a great stick, that's a goal every time for the Cox. Strauss is playing out of his mind, both defensively and offensively tonight. Hogan steps through a check, looking for Stewart on the left wing side, but he couldn't get the pass over to him. And the Cox play it back out to center. Stewart lays a check, though. Here comes Hagerman through center. Stewart throwing the body all over the ice tonight as he's got another check there. Adler at the side of the goal, picks it up, looking for Eberle in front, coming with a shot, saved by Hayes, and the puck's still loose. Hagerman with a shot, and that one goes up into the netting. What a save by Zach Hayes to push across 
and get the pad on that one. We've talked about Zach Hayes all night. It hasn't been his best performance, but that was certainly a candidate for save of the year, at least in these Ice Dog games so far. Just kicks that leg out, that right leg, and is able to make the save. What a job. Like you said, going post to post, so easy for him that time. Gets a little bit harder, but makes that excellent save. So a face-off two is right now, won by Georgia. Gutman takes it into the boards, fourth line out there for Georgia, trying to get some time off the clock here with the two-goal lead. But Lockin trying to get something going, turns away from danger as he lost the puck that time. Plays it across to his partner, Marvin. And here come the Cox back the other way. List with it, loses it to Gutman, though. Here comes Trevor Gutman. Shoots it, saved by Hayes, and he'll squeeze it. Good job by Zach Hayes again, but great job by this Ice Dogs forecheck. They've been doing it all night. Excellent job from that forechecking team, and now Hayes gets to show off the leather after he got to show off that right leg blocker. He's been excellent. He just needs his offense to give him a little more support, but they haven't been able to get out of the defensive or neutral zone much as the Ice Dogs forecheck has been excellent. About seven and a half minutes gone in this third period. Georgia still leads three to one. And they'll have another offensive zone faceoff coming up here. Conway and Smojice glide in. Cleanly won by Smojice, and Mulcairin will break it out for the Cox. Off the board, Scove passes off to Pineda, looking in front for Scove. But it's broken up in the slot. Scove regains control, plays it back down low, looking for Pineda, but it's broken up by Burnett. Here come the dogs back the other way. Conway, two on one with Hedquist. He's got Hedquist on the back door, shot by Conway, goes over the goal. Tried to sneak that one short side, but it just goes over the shoulder of Hayes. Here come the Cox back the other way. Reed drops it off. Scove with a shot, just goes wide. And all the way out of the zone, off the end boards. And Conway said, keep your head up, kid. Looks like Loken, or excuse me, Pushkar got laid out. Very physical game here, but we're not seeing a whole lot of hitting in this third as we have in the first and second. The Cox trying to clean it up just a little bit and get back on the board. Here's DeChico with it, stops up, trying to get around Gannon, but a good poke from the Ice Dogs D-man to keep that one away from center ice. Pineda flies this one in on goal. Testino plays it to the corner. Santoro on the forecheck, but it goes over the stick. Here's Parente in a foot race. DeChico back. Here's a shot from Parente just wide as he misses the net again on that blocker side of Hayes. Santoro with it, stutter step, he'll get it across center and fire it into the opposite corner. The Cox trying to wear down these Georgia defensemen with the dump and chase, but Georgia getting to the puck way too quickly for the Cox to get to it. Here's Punzenberger with it, drops it for Mazaros, he'll take it to the corner. Mazaros passes it off for Punzenberger at the side of the goal, playing it out in front, and he's looking for Strauss in the high slot, but it's turned over, and here come the Gamecocks back the other way. Passed off, Berman will tip this one down. Poole first man to the puck. He'll shake off the check from Berman. Punzenberger looking for the breakout, but it's turned over at the half wall and played back, back down low. Colin Reed got it that time. Punzenberger again with it across to Strauss. Fires across ice. Here's Mazaros looking to get it in deep, and he does. Georgia trying to protect the lead, just trying to pin the puck in deep in the offensive zone. Here's a chance Donato got a stick on it but it's not able to be kept in the zone as the Cox ice it, and that will be a face-off inside the South Carolina end. Yeah, you mentioned how the Cox are kind of playing dump and chase here as they try and wear down these defenders. I think it's actually worked negatively for them. They're not wearing them down. In fact, the breakout passes for UGA have been so good, it's been the opposite of a good effect for the Coxes. Those breakouts have led to easy two goals for the Dogs, the past two. Of course, three unanswered for the Dogs. Face off in the offensive zone, won by Georgia, as Hagerman takes a check. Georgia fans thought it was a little bit late. Referee says it's clean, here's a turnover. Stewart walking it down, his shot saved by Hayes. Rebound loose and Hayes falls on it. Stewart takes a check at the end of the play there. He'll hop back up like it's nothing though. Yeah, good job by Stewart. Went a little too hard as Hayes covered it, but he saw that Hayes didn't exactly cover it up the first time there was a rebound. And I like Stewart absolutely crashing on net to try and get another goal. Of course, an additional goal would never help the Ice Dogs. They're looking for insurance as well if they can get it. 
Eberle trying to win the offensive zone draw. He loses this one, though. As Pushkar was able to win it cleanly, but Martin able to keep the line. Turns it over in the slot, though. Fighting for it is Pushkar. Able to play it out to center ice. Here's Nick K. Steps around Stewart. Couldn't get around Hagerman, though. Lockin plays it across. Here's a chance. Walking down low. Play to the outside. Centering pass saved by Testino, and he's going to cover it. Still loose. They score! Nope. Oh, they Referee do. emphatically saying it is a goal. Testino will plead his case that he covered it. But it looks like the goal will stand. It's going to be number three, Brendan Flaherty, with the garbage goal down low to cut the lead to one. That's the second time where it's just Testino lost hopeless. He committed, and then he had to get all the way back, and it just kept bouncing around. And it's interesting to see that the Dogs had a similar opportunity earlier in this game where the refs waved it off. This time they give it to the Cox. So interesting there is it looked like both were covered for potential time and then maybe got over. But the whistle blew a little bit earlier for South Carolina than it did there. And nothing Testino can do about that one. They just got to break it up behind the net before that slot pass can get in there. And all of a sudden it's going to be a one-score game with less than 10 minutes left. So still plenty of time on the clock for this South Carolina team. And we know that they don't give up. They won the overtime game last year. Georgia had the comeback in that one to tie it. But they were able to squeak out a win there. And they're looking to do the same on the road once again. As this one's fired down into the Georgia zone. Greeley hard on it. Burnett there. Gutman with it. And you have to wonder, Joe, how much does changing the game plan for Georgia to protect the lead kind of mess up the flow that they've had going all game? The physicality and the forecheck kind of changed. They've kind of let off the gas pedal a little bit. I was just going to say that. I'd love to see them get aggressive again and keep the pedal to the metal. South Carolina trying to get it out of the zone. Whitmer able to pin it to the boards, take a few seconds off. Nine minutes left to go here in regulation. Testino will come out to play this one. He'll just cover it. So we'll get a defensive zone draw for the Dogs here. Big spot coming up here for South Carolina. Only trailing by one. Yeah, and as we said, neither of these teams are going to go away without a fight. So excellent to see just great hockey being played here. It's been an exciting game, and hopefully it'll have an exciting ending. These teams evenly matched. Face off one by Georgia. Big defensive zone win there. But it's kept in at the half wall. Here's Riggins looking for Wilkins in front, but it goes off the stick of Gannon. And this one will be cleared just enough for icing. So a face off right back in the Georgia zone. Only a few seconds tick off the clock that time. Now we'll see if the Ice Dogs try and get aggressive again. We'll see the battle of the minds. Coach Campy won Coach of the Year his first year here. He's built an excellent team. Of course, the Dogs going 21-9-2 last year to the tune of 47 points. And then on the other side, it's Alan Saroy. He is the ninth all-time leading scorer in ECHL scoring, even having 127 points in the QMJHL. So that's Quebec's league. He's obviously an excellent mind. How about that? This puck will leave the zone. Parente able to get a stick on it. Headquist in a foot race with List. Parente with it. He takes the shot gloved by Hayes. And he'll hold on to that one. A little bit of a knuckle puck from Parente. Didn't get all of it that time. Yeah, it's those wingers, Parente and Punzenberger on their lines, they just haven't been able to get all of the puck today. Usually you see them do excellent. They just need to get a little bit more. And then again, another great job by Hedquist. That was all him beating out on the puck and getting it to Parente. Face off one by Georgia. Conway couldn't handle it, though. And it's cleared all the way down the ice. But on goal, no icing here. Locking with it in the corner. He'll turn it around, looking for someone to help him out. Looking for the pass in front. List gets control, trying to get it in deep, and he does. Gannon with it for Georgia, though. He's hounded this time by Nick K. K with it, trying to cut to the net. He's pushed down by Gannon. Strong defensive play there as K crashes into the boards. And here come the dogs back the other way. Parente steps around List. He's got some speed. Drops it off. Conway tees one off, and it's tipped. And out of play. Conway really got a hold of that shot. Yeah, and mentioning the ice earlier, that's really the first time we've seen a puck glide smoothly across. Great job by Parente, and Conway was sitting there with that one-timer. 
as we mentioned earlier, we like to see the Ice Dogs get in front of Zach Hayes and block his view, but I think a powerful shot by Conway there in a close game with eight minutes left is not a bad idea. And like you said, he got all that one, just goes up and over. Another offensive zone draw here for Georgia, but it's cleanly won by the Cox. And they'll push it to the corner, Mulcairin with it. He's got Scove. Scove curling back, almost getting a piece of that one was Parente, but Scove's going to skate it back the other way. Cutting to the slot, here's Carson Scove. Walking in around the net. Still has the puck, and he'll play it back out of the corner. Here's Pineda. Punzenberger gets control. Battling forward is Smojice back up to the point. Here's Mulcairin, fakes the shot, takes the second shot, but it's right into the breadbasket of Testino, and he'll hold on to it. Testino will get his stick taps. He's done an excellent job tonight. It's been hard matchups for both goalies as these offenses have come to play, but they've done excellent so far. So another offensive zone draw for the Cox this time. As Smojice trying to play this one back, but off the tie-up, the dogs come up with it, and it goes back out to center ice. Punzenberger couldn't get the dump in, and it's just right onto the stick of Mulcairin. He'll skate it back the other way. Here's Mulcairin. Dumps it into the corner. Strauss chasing it. Puck still loose down there at the side of the goal. Battling for it is Mazaros. Strauss comes up with it for Georgia. Georgia just trying to kill some clock and keep the puck off of the South Carolina sticks. This one not enough for icing. Georgia trying to get a change. Not everybody can get off, though, as DeChico takes a check there at the blue line from Strauss. His physical presence has been felt in this one. I think if we were ever to make as a human race a perfect human, it had to be Strauss's body and ability to take a blow. He has been hit hard, and it keeps hitting hard. This puck goes back down into the South Carolina zone. Here comes Richitelli on the rush, trying to step around Hagen. Stepping into that shot was Riggins, but it's blocked right off the stick. Flaherty regrouping for South Carolina. Richitelli crossed for Greeley. Here comes Greeley, steps around Stewart. Good back check there from Everly to break it up, but Riggins regains control. Trying to get around his man. Stewart comes back up with it, though, and pokes it right back to center ice. South Carolina not getting any zone time here, but neither is Georgia. They're just playing... They're playing on their heels, really, right now. Hagen trying to settle the rolling puck here. He'll fire it across ice for Everly. Tip that one. No icing on the play. And here come the Cox on the rush. Riggins with it. He's hooked up there from Everly. No call on the play. This one in the corner looking for the centering pass. No one in front. Flaherty with it. He'll hammer it back down into the zone. Riggins again. For South Carolina, looking for the centering pass. Here's Flaherty walking down. His shot saved. Testino still loose. Puck in the crease. It's clear to the boards. Testino falls down, but he's right back up. Puck still in the zone. Whitwer unable to get it out. The Ice Dogs scrambling right now. Good zone time here for South Carolina. As there's a big check from Gutman, that's going to be a penalty. Riggins went down hard. He is yet to get up down there. Yeah, we hope he's okay. That was a big hit. Riggins still... Slowly getting up. Actually, it looks like his teammate helping him out. The referees are going to come together to discuss this one. This might be more than just two minutes here for Gutman. Riggins is up and will skate off under his own power. Able to hop over the half wall, so he's feeling all right now. Likely just got the wind knocked out of him. We hope it's nothing too serious. It's not holding anything, but we can only speculate. And we hope he is okay. It will be two minutes on the board. So we didn't get a signal on what the penalty is, but it was probably boarding from what I saw down here. I'd say so. I think that's just a situation where your body gets a little in front of your brain and you just fly in if you're Trevor Gutman after a long series of offensive pressure. So a huge spot for South Carolina here on the power play. Five minutes left to go in regulation. Looking for the tying goal. Puck back up to the point. Richitelli with a shot. Sestino will swallow that one up easily. And he'll get some stick taps from the bench. 
And this is a situation where the fourth line was just on, and that's manned by Ro Captain Robbie Witt, where he's usually the man you'd see on a penalty kill chase the puck. So it's going to be Conway in his spot right now. Georgia, we mentioned on their heels recently, just trying to get the puck out of the zone, but they can't. Richitelli able to keep it. He'll play it across to his partner. That's to Chico, back to Richitelli. His shot blocked by Parente. A good break there for Georgia. Parente still hard on the forecheck, very aggressive on the PK. The dogs have been like that all night as that puck will go back down into the South Carolina zone, but quickly back up the ice. Kay battling for it with Gannon in front of the Georgia bench. Parente able to help out, and he'll play this one all the way down the ice and get a change. Interesting to not see Zach Hayes come out of net here. That's an opportunity he likes to take. He likes to field that puck and get them back on the offensive quick. Here comes Pushkar trying to step around the long stick of Burnett, but no dice around the outside. Flaherty with it. He'll walk the line, trying to get around Whitworth. Good angling there on the point from the Ice Dogs captain. Flaherty walks it down to the corner. That pass was tipped, but able to hold on to it. Here's Locking with a shot, blocked in the front by Dan Bardo, laying out the body to block that shot. And that allows for a wholesale change, and Zach Hayes will play it up this time. 38 seconds left to go on the man advantage here for the Gamecocks. Excellent penalty killing here from Georgia as Strauss clears that one once again. South Carolina trying to get something going here with 25 seconds left to go on the five on four. List drops it off. But Punzenberger is right there on the point, trying to get it out. He couldn't, though. Here's Flaherty in the high slot. Fakes the shot. Takes the second chance right into the mask of Testino. That one goes bouncing into the corner. Ten seconds left to go on the power play. List across for Riggins. Riggins walks the line. Drops it off for Flaherty. Looking for the shot. Plays it down low for List. Pack, put, pass in behind him. Flaherty in the high slot. His shot bouncing around loose in front. Goes into the corner. We're back to even strength. Flaherty still with it, though. His shot is blocked. And here come the Ice Dogs back the other way. Gutman couldn't handle the pass. And this will go back down. Georgia gets a much-needed change after some very good zone time from South Carolina at the tail end of that power play. Yeah, great penalty kill. There's too many men on the ice. Hedquist jumps off before the dogs can be called another penalty. Here's a shot in front. Scove with a great chance in the high slot. Just misses the net, though. That's maybe the best chance they've had in this third period aside from the goal. Scove with it once again, plays it back, looking at the point, but in, unable to hold on to it was Smojice. And he'll just dump it in off the linesman. <laughs> linesman with some words for Smojice. Nothing serious. That one hurt, though. And when you said Hedquist jumped off the ice, he legitimately jumped off the ice. He left his feet and came flying into the bench to avoid that penalty. So a good heads-up play from Hedquist. That would have been really bad for the Ice Dogs going back on the penalty there. Less than two minutes left to go in regulation. Georgia still up by one. Martin trying to get it out, looking for the stretch pass. Maybe not the smart play there as that one's blocked by Marvin. Unable to hold the line, though. Second chance. Hogan trying to get it out. Pineda into the zone. That one looked like it might have been offsides, but not quite. Here's Scove with it at the line. Plays it down low, and this one's wrapped around the boards by Smojice. Marvin with it. Takes a check from Hogan. Looking for help on the half wall. Plays it down low for Pineda. Pineda. Mulcairin tees one off way wide, about six feet to the right of Testino. And Parente will be able to skate this one after the bounce off the end boards. Dumps this one in. They say it's icing. It looked like Parente looked, might have gotten the line. He looked well past the line. They're immediately going to talk about it. They're going to agree that that's icing. That surprises me. That was a very close call. And in a game where we haven't seen too many close calls, it's interesting to see. These refs have certainly let him play. That, will that one was icing. We just watched the replay here. He yeah. was just a few feet short. So we'll have a timeout called here. We'll step aside for just a minute, and we'll be back for the last 113 of regulation.
Welcome back. Big moment here for South Carolina with a minute 13 left to go in regulation. Still looking for the tying goal. Down one, it's three to two Ice Dogs. And this is going to be a very good ending to this game, no matter how it ends. Empty net at the other side of the ice. Six guys on the ice for South Carolina. And we talked about the battle of the brains. I have to think that USC has a drawn-out play if they were to win this offensive zone draw. Interesting look here. I'm not used to seeing this. We have three Gamecocks on the board side rather than the net side. Yeah, usually you'd see them crash. Maybe looking for... The shot quickly off the draw, but doesn't matter as Georgia wins the faceoff. Couldn't clear the zone, though. Second chance blocked again. Down low. Here's a shot off the side. Looked like Testino got a pad on that one. Lost his footing a little bit, but able to stay up. Push car with it. Walking the line, but it's chipped away by Stewart. As we are less than one minute away from the end of the game, barring a tying goal, and the Cox go off sides there with 51.2 left in the third. We'll see if Zach Hayes comes back out here. They will send him out on this neutral zone draw. Likely going to stay right at the hash marks, though. Yeah, he's going to come out quick if they win this draw. And this feels like the most pivotal moment yet. We've seen goals. We've seen penalties. This draw could be what decides this game. Face off won by Georgia and put into the corner as Punzenberger picked it up off the tie-up. So that will take a good few seconds off the clock for South Carolina as Hayes will head to the bench. There's a great back check by Punzenberger. Hayes stays in the net. Donato with it at center, trying to play it back, trying to make the smart play, but he turned it over at center. Mazaros with it, shoots it into the South Carolina bench, and that will stop the clock again. I think South Carolina will try and say they get a draw in their zone, or in uh, Georgia's zone. It's going to be at center ice once again, but Hayes well. is going to be out of the net for this one. Yep. Excellent job by Hayes and Coach Soroy to make sure he stayed put because that was dangerous in the neutral zone. That could have easily been a 4-2 victory for the Dogs. Face off, tied up. The Cox come up with it, trying to shoot it into the zone, but Poole gets control of it. He'll fire it down. This one will be icing, though, with 18.2 on the clock. An offensive zone draw coming up here for the Gamecocks. 18 seconds. It's a do or die for these teams. We said it's early in the season. This has been noted game of the week. These teams had this game circled. This could very well kind of shape up the CHS as these teams finished high in it. Face off to the right of Testino off the tie up. The dogs come away with it. Mazaros will pin it to the boards with 15 seconds left in regulation. The Ice Dogs bench up on their feet. Puck pops out in the low slot. Punzenberger trying to play it to the wall. He goes down, three seconds left, two seconds. Flaherty settles it. Here's a shot at the horn and saved by Testino. Ice Dogs win. What a game. The Dogs will circle around Testino and it's gonna get chippy at the end here. Fans cheering. Teams will meet in the middle for the handshake. Dogs win. Oh, no handshake. They're going to throw them off the ice. The refs will say, hey, not today after a good hard-fought hard game. Ice Dogs win 3-2. to two. Testino will hop on the ice with Robbie Whitler. What an amazing game. Make sure to stay tuned for the three stars of the game, plus a new addition to the end of the game. One of the dog's most hard-fought players will be announced, and he will win something special. Make sure to stay tuned on UGA Hockey with Torn and I.
Thank you for joining us in what was an instant classic between the Gamecocks and the Ice Dogs, as it always is. And now we'll give you our three stars of the game, Joe. Yeah, it was a great played game by all the Ice Dogs. We knew they were going to have to come out and play tough, and they certainly did. As I mentioned multiple times in the stream, this is an important game for both teams. Definitely we'll see these teams in the playoffs and likely nationals. So these three stars are very important. At the third star, we're going to start with Declan Conway. He is always an integral part of this team passing, and I liked what I saw today through his passing. He had a couple excellent shots, but his amazing job passing, and of course the second goal, he really helped Hedquist get his first goal of the night, and that kind of kept it going with the three unanswered. He, of course, had his excellent kind of movement through center ice where he caught it in between his legs, didn't lose any speed, and got it past Zach Hayes at the two-star. It's going to be Hedquist. Of course, just mentioned how Conway got him kind of involved early on. Hedquist scored the first goal in torn. What do you think about a guy that comes in freshman or first season with the Ice Dogs as a freshman, and he puts up two goals in two games against two hard South Carolina teams? Yeah, it's hard to get a much better start than that, and he's looked great on, on other aspects of the game than just goal scoring. Great puck movement, great speed on the ice out there. He's always part of the rush and he was a very integral part of the Ice Dogs' forecheck tonight. Yeah, him and Donato were excellent, those two newcomers to the Ice Dogs. And, of course, for his first career goal, what will go down as the game-winning goal in a 3-2 victory, it has to be first star Will Donato. An excellent game for him. He has come in on that first line, kind of taken this Matt Big to roll. It's hard shoes and skates to replace, but Will Donato has done an excellent job. He put one in the back of the net, his first career goal, and he will be the first star for tonight's game. An excellent game. Torn, anything you want to add? Yeah, just a great start for Georgia here to go 2-0 and in the first two weeks, and that's a big rival that they just beat in South Carolina. That's a huge momentum boost heading into the rest of this season for Georgia. So look for them to keep rolling here in the early part of this semester. We've got another segment coming up here at the end of the stream. So stick around while we get that up. It is the Georgia Hockey Museum Extra Effort Award awarded to the Ice Dogs player who presented a little more extra effort that made a difference in the game.
three, two, one. Hey, it's Ren Grimsley again. I'm here with defenseman Alex Strauss. Alex, they say that your best game is, or you make the most improvement in between your first and your second game. Would you say that's true here? And in uh, what area would you say you got better at? Oh, well, actually, I didn't play the first game. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, how about the team? How do you think the team Oh, played? the team looked great today. I mean, also played in that small barn in Clemson first game. Got the jitters out. But uh, here we played on the big stage, South Carolina, and uh, we look great. Awesome. And I do have a surprise for you. We have the Georgia Hockey Museum Extra Effort Player of the Game presented to you. Here. Thank you very much. To come with a big 20, check? $20 Chick-fil-A gift. Oh, heck yeah. From the Georgia Hockey Museum. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, man. Oh, yeah. So thank you all for joining us, and congratulations to Alex Strauss as the Georgia Hockey Museum Extra Effort Player of the Game. We will see you all next week as the Ice Dogs take on another rival, the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets, and the next meeting between these two teams will be in February. So we look forward to seeing all of you South Carolina fans there next time. For the rest of the game, so we got 3-2 final here. From the ice incoming, thank you all for joining us. I'm Torrin Smith for Joe Kopshow and Ren Glimsley. We'll see you next time.